So what I'm doing right now is um, I'm hitting the tops of these with my planer and sander. These ones are just a little, I want to say maybe a small eighth, between an eighth and sixteenth higher than the old lumber. Just over time, this is like, I say, been in here 30 years or so. Um, so it's just a little high, I don't like it. So I'll hit it with the planer and then take the rest off with the sander, give it a nice smooth transition. So what we're doing right now is uh, carry two by four between any obstacles you got. Right now I got a girt, some blocking right here, blocking in this off. So I went from there to there, going underneath a bit. They got these hangers that hook on underneath. There's a screw going up and then you hammer them into studs. They have to be into studs, not into your blocking once you want it to be structurally sound. And then you're using a 10D joist hanger nails um pretty easy kit if you understand structural integrity you'll see that this is uh this is spot on um there's other ways of doing it um for, and I've, I've done a couple of them this is the way that i find the easiest so far um i put a little bit of pl in there as well you can see it right there on the clip and then um i will uh glue it to the joist um, there's some there's a bead behind there and screw it nailed with the joist hanger studs and um, yeah you can see obviously the recess there which would bring us flat to the top of our joist giving us the proper pitch on the curbless shower So what we got going on right now is I'm recessing the floor with the brackets that come with the hydro block curbless shower kit. Essentially what it does is it hangs on your joist like this, uh, goes down and your two by four sits in the saddle down here, leaving you uh, three quarters recessed right here for your uh, 